Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 8, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit the last few, about the last two tra trading days. We found support here at the 50 minimum average, 13 to 57. And now since then, we have basically been rallying. So we may go a little bit further, but I don't think that we're going to go much further. So the US dollar has started to depreciate again after being, uh, being appreciating for the last two weeks, or give or take. And that has basically uh, been... Uh, basically reaching havoc on most of these currency pairs. It, the US dollar has been depreciating for for basically months. Uh, so we can see basically the trend, upward trend, due to that depreciation. We saw um, a breakdown here due to the, um, to the Brexit negotiations. Otherwise, we have been rallying. So the 20, 40, 50 uh, moving averages, they have been major support levels especially the 50, get down to, uh, towards 50, it's almost a guarantee to buy this and just hold it for a few uh, trading days. But the reason why I say that we're most likely going to run into major resistance is because we're getting very close to the top here of the Bollinger Band. So we may go to roughly 13, uh, 76, uh, 84, that will find uh, quite a lot of resistance. That is also the previous highs here will most likely fall back towards the 20 exponential and then go higher. So we are in a gradual grind to the upside. And uh, yes, it's just a continuation of uh, what we have been seeing for the last few months. So at the moment, uh, technical indicators otherwise are looking very promising. You can see that uh, MACD is about to cross the signal line. It's above zero. The RSI is, um, is a little bit bullish. It's fairly, well, almost flat. The CCI is um, is bullish and the stochastic is also very bullish. So we have a long way to go here in the stochastic. So get close to the bullish band here. This is not the time to entry for a buy. If you want to enter for a buy, you should have done it here at the 50, at the 20 moving average, the middle of the bullish band, that was a possibility, or at the bottom here, which was basically the optimal entry point for, for this currency pair. So. Let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, we have started to run into resistance here at the 300 moving average. So this has been rallying since basically from the bottom here all the way to the top. This is a move of roughly 3% to the upside, a major move for this currency pair. However, we can see that we're running into major resistance here. Also, we're very stretched here in the Bollinger Band. We have been for several trading days, and now it looks like we are ready to go back to towards the middle of the bullish band. And that's a fall of roughly 1.2%. Um, Whether or not we fall further than that, we'll have to see. The 20 moving average here in the bullish band has been very uh, supportive in the uh, recently, so expect this to fall towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly a fall of 1.17%, uh, and then it most likely will rally from there. But if the US dollar continues to um, depreciate, then we could see this fall even further. So we have been, in, we were in this channel for a very long time. We broke out of this channel, found major resistance here, but we have done this before. Way back here in June, we also broke out of the channel and then went back into the channel. So if we were to go back into the channel, we may see a drop of all the way down to the very bottom here, and that's a fall of roughly percent so it'll be interesting to see what happens when the market opens because if we get a red candlestick here on monday opening that basically means that we will go much lower so let's look at a euro us dollar and this was one of our trades for on friday we found major support here at uh, 150 moving average and uh, we have been rallying so this may rally further. Um, it is um, un unclear yet whether or not we manage to break through the 20, 40, and the 50 moving average. If we do, then we are targeting these highs again. 
So from here to the very highs, it's a roughly, yeah, that's roughly 2.27% or 273 pips. So, but it looks like we will probably have a fight on our hands. When we get to the middle of the Bollinger Band, as we saw here, it is expected for this currency pair to run into a major resistance. But if we break through this current, this um, break through this resistance area, it then will go much higher. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. They are still bearish, but they are turning around. There's not a lot of room to the downside, so we are most likely going towards um, 50, 60 in the RSI. Stochastic is still in the red zone, but it's crossing the signal line. And the same goes for the RSI and the, then the MACD. So we may see some choppiness, but if we break above the, uh, the middle here of the bullish band, then we could go to the very top and then continue upwards. But it kind of depends on the uh, US dollar where it basically goes. If it starts depreciating more, then yes, this, it will be very bullish for this currency pair. So let's look at the Aussie dollar US dollar and it rallied significantly on Friday. We are we have crossed above the 20, 50 and the 40 exponential moving average. And at this moment, if we can get another green candlestick above the um, this candlestick here, then we are going back towards these targets that we set out for a very long time ago. So it has been uh, depreciating ever since we broke out of this channel, uh, but we found resistance around this area, the 0 0.75, and since then we have been rallying ever shortly. So due to the fact that we broke through these moving averages here, that is a very bullish shine. Also, technical indicators are all turning around. We stopped here because we ran into the middle of the Bollinger Band. If we manage to break above this, then yes, we are going to go much higher. But it is to be seen. If we open the trade on, on Monday below this uh, green candlestick here, then we may go even lower towards the 100 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, and we uh, can see that we have also started to break down. We found support here at the 50 moving average at uh, 1276. It's also the middle of the bullish band here. If we manage to break below this, then we're going to the bottom of the bullish band, and that is roughly 1264. Technical indicators otherwise are turning around and looking fairly, uh, well, fairly bearish at this point. So, so we may break below this area here. If we do, that opens the door to these very lows again. So that's a move of roughly, roughly 1.3, yeah, give or take, roughly 1.28% to the downside. So there's a lot of resistance above here. So I would not be surprised if we broke below the 50 moving average and started trending even lower. So we were in a downtrend here. It has been, we basically were, if you go all the way back here, first of all, in the downtrend here, we broke out of that. Then we had another downtrend. And it looks like we have broken through that yet again. And now it looks like we are going to continue with another um, downtrend. But you'll see what happens on Monday when this market opens. Um, at the moment, the momentum is to the downside. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.